Okay, I got one more thing to do before I finish my report. Bobby, would you come up front, please? six years on town council, both as a fellow council person and then after that as the mayor. It's been a privilege for me and my heartfelt appreciation to you for all of your knowledge about the town that you've shared with me and taught me and helped me learn my way as I went and I am deeply grateful for that. I don't know if everybody in the room realizes the service that this town and this country have received from this man. He was a young man, he went to Vietnam, he fought for this country, heavy, heavy battles that he doesn't even talk about. Most people would have done that, thought, well, I've done my service to my fellow man, but not him. He came back. He became a minister, serving a church for, what, 30 years? 20, 27. 27 years. Developed his own ministry there, taking care of those folks. More than 40 years of dedicated service to the Iron Gate Volunteer Fire Department. That's a lifetime, more than 40 years. 20 years sitting behind this table through the good times, the bad times, <laughs> all kinds of times when he didn't know what was coming next or how he was going to probably figure out how to address the next issue that's come along. So everybody in this town that lives here now has lived here and will ever live here owes a deep debt of gratitude to him. And, and your presence in this town has made an indelible mark in this town's history but also in its future. And for that, Bobby, thank you. And uh, for all of that service, a little plaque just doesn't seem appropriate, but we've got your plaque presented to Robert W. Daniel Sr. on behalf of the citizens of Iron Gate, Virginia, for your dedicated 20 years of service, your committed and un unwavering support of our town is greatly appreciated. Thank you, and it's under my name, uh, dated 2017, because that's when you made your resignation official. Again, thank you thank so you. much. No, it's been, it's been a uh, uh, good marriage run nights. <laughs> uh, we faced some tough issues, and there will always be tough issues for a little town to get over, but uh, due diligence and, and uh, patience and common sense can work for many things. Uh, not everybody's like some of the decisions that comes about, but that takes part of it. Uh, we sit up here, we take a, a, a near beating from the public, and uh, you know, that comes, you know, that's the, that's the freebie that we enjoy. <laughs> but I encourage anybody to get out there. If you love this little town, try to get out of this council and do your best for you and your town. The Iron Gate Fire Department is part of your town. Like it or not, we have a rescue squad there. It takes a lot to become qualified to run that. We need volunteers to serve the rest of your fellow citizens, and we can use your help. So it's time for a lot of people to uh, get up off the chair and start doing things for the town if you can. God bless. And by the way, personal note, we had the experience last week to need the services of the Iron Gate Rescue Crew. Top notch from start to finish, 
they were at the house within less than 10 minutes. They were very attentive, attended to her needs, and took care of what she needed to make her more comfortable. And we deeply, as her family, appreciate that. Well, we're, uh, and we're, we're very glad to, uh, we hate it before we miss calls. Uh, many here, but Gary was on the far part for many years. Some others are here too. And uh, we work. Sometimes every day there's nobody here. There's not enough providers to man the ambulance. There's a state requirement to be on that truck. So uh, you know, we need volunteers. So we do miss a lot of calls. We hope things are going to get better. Uh, right now, most of the calls in town are falling on the backs of just a few individuals. And they're really pulling their load. And uh, so we're, we're glad that we can, uh, that's why we, we jumped in and became a, a transport agency to, to serve our town.